carbon dioxide and the sea. So carbon dioxide is a gas in the atmosphere and it is in a heterogeneous equilibrium with aqueous carbon dioxide in the sea. Heterogeneous means that uh, the phases of the products and the reactants are different. Uh, homogeneous would mean they're the same. Uh, if the concentration of carbon dioxide increases, and that's after all what's happening with climate change, then Le Chatelier's principle, which states that for a reaction in equilibrium, if it's stressed, it will move to oppose to stress. Le Chatelier says that carbon dioxide will be forced down into the water. So the water will be so the water will have a bit more carbon dioxide in it. So why does that matter? And it's gonna make through this reaction carbonic acid, which is also the naturally occurring acid in acid rain. Carbonic acid is a weak acid, so it will once again have another equilibria, and that becomes the hydrogen ion and the hydrogen carbonate ion. You're expected to recall this sequence. So as increased carbon dioxide means that there's more carbon dioxide dissolved in the water. And Le Chatelier says if this is increased, this is being stressed, it's going to move over to here, which is going to move over to there, which leads an increasing amount of H plus ions, which is, of course, the particle responsible for acidity. So increased carbon dioxide in the atmosphere is causing the seas to become more acidic. Now there are two processes at hand here. Uh, overall, this is exothermic. Each of these steps in the four directions exothermic. So as the temperature goes up, what's going to happen to these equilibria? Well, they're going to move to the endothermic side. So carbon dioxide is pressing the equilibria to go that way, to make acid. But as you heat it up, it's going to favour the endothermic side and go back again, removing the acid. Now on balance, the seas are becoming more acidic, so the temperature aspect is, is actually quite minimal in this process, uh, in, the, in the process of acidity. But if you do heat the seas up, then what's going to happen is that carbon dioxide is going to bubble out of the sea back into the atmosphere again. And coral which are the kind of rocks that are creatures that live in the sea, the great coral reef, beautiful, unique ecosystems. Uh, they're essentially calcium carbonate. And calcium carbonate will react with acids. So this solid calcium carbonate will start to dissolve in these increasingly acidic seas. So how can we reduce CO2 uh, from fossil fuel burning. Well, two methods. I mean, apart from using alternatives and wind energy and stuff like that. If you've got your factory and it's giving out carbon dioxide, you could pump it into an enormous hole in the ground and trap it there, then seal the hole. That will get rid of some of it. These enormous holes in the ground are called mines. And so you have to make sure that they are gas tight, that they can't leak out. Other ways you can uh, remove carbon dioxide from the fossil fuel combustion, combustion is you can react it with carbon di uh, you can react the carbon dioxide with calcium oxide, and that would turn it into chalk. But of course you need to expend energy, time and money to make this calcium oxide. Or you can also react the carbon dioxide with sodium hydroxide. Now this reaction is beyond the scope of the course, uh, so don't worry too much about that. There's no good news here really. 